Hello everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's Source Snack Break. I am joined today with Jenna McPherson from Design Text. Hi. Nice to have you. Thank you. I'm so excited. Yes, this is going to be fun. So for those of you who are um, joining us for your first snack break, just so you know, you've been placed on mute automatically. Um, but we will um, keep the conversation going in the chat. You can feel free to let us know where you're tuning in from or drop in your favorite emoji to test that out. Um, it's also a great place to ask questions along the way. So if you see something that you want to know more about or have questions that you want us to, um, me to read today to our guests, let me know and we'll get those answered for you. And uh, with that, I'll turn it over and get us started. And again, actually, I forgot one last little housekeeping thing. If you do have to step away, we are recording this. So um, that will be sent to you automatically after the presentation is over. So with that, Jenna, it's so great to have you. What are we going to be talking about today? Tell us. Well, a first bit off, about thank yourself. you so much for hosting and having me. It's been sure. like a year since I've done one of these. And so I'm super pumped. Um, I am going to be sharing some of the latest and greatest from design techs and just kind of give you all a little bit of a, um, some resources to access on your own if you're curious about what's been happening um, with design techs, because I know it's a lot to cram in what's been happening in a year in 20 minutes, so we won't exactly try to do that. Um, Although that's really tempting. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and start sharing my screen and um, please enter lots of questions um, and we'll go ahead and get started. Sounds good. Okay. Brittany, will you let me know if you can see my PowerPoint? Awesome. That sounds good. Excellent. So let's see, I'm gonna turn my phone off so I'm not like getting buzzes <laughs> there. Okay, so um, I'm, I'll, I'll back up a little bit. So I'm uh, Jenna McPherson. I'm the Oregon sales rep for Design Techs. Um, and for those of you who might not be as familiar with Design Techs, just a tiny bit about us is we are a designer and manufacturer of applied materials for the built environment. We have everything from textiles. So that'd be like panel fabrics, wall cover, or not wall coverings, but woven wall coverings, um, upholsteries. We have wall covering. We offer um, digitally printed materials. Um, and we also do custom digital printing. We have architectural film. So think of us for anything that you might need for the built environment. So that's sort of in a nutshell. Um, we have 8,000 products. So kind of anything that you could want. Um, so I wanted to share a little bit of a resource for you all. So we've created a subsite that you can access right from designtext.com. And it's a subsite that I've kind of created a little, this is the homepage, and there's a star right next to where it says design text drop product launches. And you'd click right here. And this would take you to designtextdrop.com. And this is where all of the latest and greatest product launches are being featured. And it's a really great way for you to see what's new without it just being the you know plain old website where it's like, you know, you go and see the little tiles of what's new. It's a lot more like dynamic, um, inspiring imagery, photography, and it's just exciting. So one of the ways that you might look at what's previously happened over the last year is to head to past drops. And so just kind of as a little teaser, I thought I would share some of the great new stuff that um, has launched. So our first drop was um, Handsome Plaid and Jumper, which is just this great little duo here. Um, drop two was um, billiard cloth and billiard panel. This is a design text classic that was recolored. So we were super excited about that. Um, drop three was a performance um, duo. These two are polyurethanes and it was a cool collaboration that we did with Krypton as well. They have a new um, performance top coat for non-wovens. So that launched um, as well as a couple other performance products here. So you're probably seeing a little bit of a trend um, with performance um, being one of the key drivers of some of our designs over the last year with um, just cleanability and disinfecting kind of being at the forefront of everyone's minds. We really made sure that while people think of design techs for performance in general, we wanted to make sure that we were creating beautiful products that were still upholding that, you know, performance marker. So um, with drop five, we introduced Bloomer Plus and Iota, which Bloomer is that wonderful botanical plus is a quilted um, little, you can see the plus marks mm -hmm. there, but um, it's a quilted non woven or it's a quilted woven rather, excuse me, um, just really beautiful and tactile, tile, tactile, excuse me. And then Iota, which was a, a non-woven textile with just a ton of colors. 
um, these three or four textiles were just more performance. Um, and you can see that they're not sort of like your typical, and when I say performance, that could be something that is healthcare or it could be something that could be suitable for any material or um, any application, any project type, but it just really has those high double rubs, really cleanable, but still like a nice high design um, that, you know, hopefully you think of when you think of design tech. So really, really proud of some of the stuff that's come out. Um, and then with drop seven, um, we had 49 new Dynoc patterns. This is our architectural film product. So that was really exciting. So that was sort of in a nutshell, some of like a high level look at a lot of stuff. And each of the um and each of the drops really has a lot of content there that was just like the first image that you would see in a long um kind of like product story essentially so if you're interested in signing up for um you know being notified about new launches um or drops as we're calling them um you can sign up um so you would go to the sub site and just enter in your information and you would have all of this new stuff um landing right in your inbox the day that That's it's dropped in so um, that's that. And then kind of going in a little bit more in depth on our newest collections um, with drop eight and nine. Um, I'll kind of start with that now. So these have some cool, um, some cool product stories, I think. So these are companion, um, excuse me, oops, let me go back. Okay, sorry, my, my <laughs> slides were advancing kind of strangely. So um, Kith and Kin are with Drop 8, and they're inspired by really natural textures, organic um, colors, and just a little bit more of a tie with nature. Um, excuse me. And they're so happy together. Um, they go hand in hand and are really companion pieces. We don't typically launch um, products that are kind of like lookalikes like this, but they just have a really beautiful story. Um, some of the product features that I really want to highlight is that they're both under $40 a yard. Um, they meet 100,000 double rubs. They're made of recycled polyester that contributes to um, lead points. They're heavy metal free. They're super cleanable. They're made in the US and they're stain resistant. And so here they are together. And they're based on this concept called Wabi Sabi, which is really about paring down a material or an item down to its, its essence and um, without removing the poetry of it. So it might be an object that is really simple in form, but because of it basically has like natural beauty um, that's associated with it. Um, and you'll see the connection to Wabi Sabi in the texture, pattern, and colors um, of this collection. But for, first, we'll start with the construction, where you'll see that just like with all things, the beauty goes down from beyond the surface and basically transcends as to how the, the product is made. So Kith and Kin are created using a mixture of two yarns. So you're seeing here a spun polyester, as well as it, as well as a delicately soft Chanel yarn. And so Kin is inspired by dogwood flowers and this, this fine spun polyester provides this uniform sort of tailored ground. And then the chenille creates soft little blips on the surface that kind of bloom. And there's this is creating like a juxtaposition that creates not only a comforting look and that's really soft and textile, but it's very mm -hmm. dimensional. Um, and it's just like a product that you just wanna touch. It's very, um, kind of haptic. It's really cool. Um, Sarah Balderi is um, one of our designers at Design Text, and this is just a shot of her studio wall. You can really see all of those organic textures and patterns and just her um, sense of color and sort of what she was using to inspire the collection. So I always love seeing things like this. I find it super inspiring. Um, she did a lot of watercolor on paper. Um, I, this like to has totally inspired me to get watercolor yeah. pens. I don't know about you guys, but this, this looks like fun. I don't know. On any conference call that I don't have to be okay, on, great. I want to be doing this. <laughs> so this collection is really perfectly imperfect. Um, down from so then from those paintings and those inky dots, um, it, she carefully translated the dots yarn by yarn, weave by weave, and the pattern is really brought to life um, in a tactile quality. And when it's upholstered on even small um, pieces of furniture, you can tell that it isn't too loud or too intense. It really has like a nice pattern scale, even on small pieces of furniture. So it just sits really well. 
Um, it's a poly, it's a hundred percent polyester content and it comes standard with a nano, um, standard stain resistant finish. So it's just super durable in that sense, um, for again, stains, as well as it needs a hundred thousand double rubs. Um, it's $37 a yard and you can clean it with a water-based or solvent-based cleaner. And how many colors does that come um, in? Just, um, <laughs> It's kind of a limited um, color. At the very okay. end, you can see sort of like the full color coloration of both of them. I okay. want to say it's like maybe eight. It's it's yeah. Good question though. Um, and then I know it's a lot of the same um, colors that are shown in some Beautiful. of the photography for sure. So good question. Um, and then Kith is very similar to Kin, but just a little bit simpler um, with it just being the dot pattern. And it's soft and structured just mm -hmm. like um, Kith is. Um, and here it is upholstered on an ottoman. So just a nice, nice little spots. I love those. And then it, um, both of these products work really well to create sort of like a mini, mini uh, excuse me, a mini texture story. So a lot of times we, you know, think of co pa color palettes, but you could also create a palette mm -hmm. of texture. So that's what it's sort of showing right here, as well as how it works really well with some of the existing um, products already in our line. And then the exact same specs for this one has the same finish, um, has the same cleanability, as well as the same um, Weizenbeek um, double rubs, and is also $37 a yard. So those are pretty fun. Um, and then along with this sort of like lower cost, being a little bit more budget conscious, we still have that high performance um, conversation. And we have a whole um, collection of products that kind of meet this same um, criteria where it's all about performance, but also that they are lovely, um, nice coloration that coordinates together so that you could look at a number of products to suit a, pro a project and whatever budgetary needs you have, as well as they have a nice design to them. So we have over 350 SKUs that kind of meet this criteria that are under 40 bleach treatable and meet 100,000 double rubs. So um, I'm happy to share these products and definitely reach out um, to us for, for samples. And then here's an example of the colors that these come in. Um, there's a, a really light warm neutral that you're seeing kind of by the um, mm -hmm. that burnt red, a couple of yellows, an orange, a couple of greens, blues, and then some um, grays. So maybe like 10 or 12 colors really actually. And then um, moving on to drop nine, um, we have lounge, layer, and gather. So these are all about like embracing this, like let's get together. We've all been a separate. So we wanted to um, have a collection that was all about like beautiful textiles, um, really honoring this, like let's get together and just hang out. Yeah. <laughs> let's do it safely, of course. Um, so it's a textured trio. And um, here's just a little kind of glamor uh, shot of the three of them. You can see that they are three different sizes of um, texture. So there's a small, medium, and large texture mm. story kind of happening. Then the idea is that they are colored in a way that they could be used together and you could kind of play with the scale or obviously you could just, you know, pick whichever product you like the best. Um, the first up uh, is Lounge, which is really all about kind of bringing this high drama. It's a um, smooth, heathered velvet that really delivers. It's um, suitable for both panel and upholstery use. So it's a multi-use product. Mm -hmm. It's non-directional in, in its pile. So a lot of times velvet kind of like you sit on it and you get that mark. That won't happen with this. You don't have to worry about like brushing the pile in the same direction. So it looks tidy. Um, so that's not something you have to worry about. And then this has no finish on it. And then we've been doing a lot of really beautiful like photo shoots with our um, new materials, which I really love. It's just sort of like fun and something different, as well as making sure that we have photography that shows, um, you know, all of our products that are launching over the last year upholstered on actual so pieces helpful. of furniture, which yeah. I think is super helpful. Yeah. Um, so here's Lounge. Um, it's an upholstery panel fabric. It's 100% polyester. It's finish free. Um, cleaned water-based or solvent-based cleaners. It meets 90,000 double rubs and is $32 a yard. Oopsies. What happened? Oh, I changed up my PowerPoint at the last minute. I thought this was at the end. I like, kind of had a breakout moment. We're good. Um, all the colors. So um, Lounge comes in so many of these beautiful colors that we're really seeing trend um, right now. So, you know, definitely look to us for, um, you know, those sagey mm -hmm. greens, warm silvery colors, ochres, burnt oranges. I mean, all those deep greens, all the good stuff. Wow. So there's 32 colors that this comes in. Um, so something for everybody. Um, Gather is the next up. 
and this one's a little bit of the it's more of the medium sized texture where you're getting a little bit more um, interest there and it's a soft chenille and this has a really interesting attention to detail, uh, detail excuse me um the gather gather is the name of this product like i said and it's stitched in a way that um has this sort of um, running top stitch, which is traditional to um, Shishiko embroidery. And the whole idea of this is that it's perfectly imperfect. So um, you, you're probably seeing sort of from the last collection and this collection, we're all about just like bringing in more of an organic feeling to some of our textiles, which I'm really excited about. It just kind of creates this human comfort. I feel like that we all just, you know, we just want to, we just want to be around beautiful things that are just yes. a little bit more organic, I think. So um, and the whole idea is that this is a get together kind of fabric. Um, we want this to be where people gather, which is why it has the name, name gather. So this is an upholstery use only. Um, it's 100% polyester. It has a stain resistant finish, water-based or solvent-based cleaner. Um, it meets 60,000 double rubs, so a little bit less durable on the um, double rubs for this one, but still um, perfectly suitable for commercial use and it's $33 a yard. So this would fall into like our Lux for less um, kind of category. And it comes in just this um, colorway offering shown here, but a lot of really beautiful colors. I think that um, this is basically the sample colors I'm seeing people uh, request anyway. So um, we have a question that um, came in as well. I don't mind two questions. Yeah. So one about talking about the no, um, the nanotechnology, the stain repellent. Do you guys have any transparency information or like sustainability details? Is that something that you could share after the presentation? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we are totally transparent about all of our finishes, what's in them. And then maybe if, you know, for instance, if something came standard with a, um, a stain repellent finish on it, that you, you know, it maybe wasn't meeting your criteria. There's also options to get textiles that come standard with like Nano, for instance. Um, if you didn't want that to be on there, we could work to get that product um, created for your, or made at the mill um, mm -hmm. without the finish on it. So um, basically what happens is it's made at a mill and then it goes to a separate finisher. And so if it was something where you didn't want the finish on it, but you loved it, um, we could work something out for you. There's minimums and stuff, but um, they're not too crazy. So I that so. let the us question. know if not. Um, and then there was one yeah. question, this came in a little bit earlier, but um, they wanted to know if you guys offered a PVC free dye knock. PVC free Dynoc is, you know what, I'd have to double check. There's been some changes with our Dynoc. Um, and at one point we did offer a PVC free Dynoc, but it had a really mm. high roll minimum. And I don't know if we just took that off the table or if it was one of those things where we were looking at changing the minimum. It's kind of in flux. And so that would be something that I would be happy to look into. Yeah. Um, I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Um, and I can get back to source and we can definitely that get that information. Good. We'll make sure you guys you. are connected after afterwards. Thank you. Yeah. I think those are the only questions we had so far, but if you all have more as we're going through it, let us know. Okay. And I have one last um, product to share, which is my favorite out of the three texture sizes. I kind of love a chunky textile. So this one's all about living large and soft spaces. Um, and here it is up close. Okay. It has this really beautiful kind of handmade organic texture to it. It's just super soft and really beautiful um, and has just a lot of interest. Wow. Here it is upholstered on a sofa. And you can tell that it really is this whole idea of like texture as pattern is one of the things that we're really, um, I don't want to say obsessed with at design text, but we love solid textural fabrics, but sometimes they can just like be enough of a statement that you don't even need a pattern. So this kind of falls into that realm. Um, it's an oversized chunky chenille that's really spot on to hit that textural um, need that you might have for a space. Um, and like I said, all three of these textiles can be used together. There's no wrong way to mix and match them. Um, and just playing with the scale is super fun. Um, this is, so layer is an upholstery use. It's a polyester blend, which is a little bit different than the other two. Um, it has a stain resistant finish. And so the stain resistant finish that's found on the last two um, textiles that I talked about is more of a topical stain resistant finish. Whereas like a Krypton or a Nano or an Alta are um, a little bit more embedded 
the textiles actually put on like a bath, put into a bath and then the finish really permeates the yarns and it's a permanent finish. This would be like a topical finish, um, which still really works well, um, but definitely is not as hardy as those other three that I just mentioned. Um, but <laughs> it definitely does something. So, um, and this is a water-based or solvent-based cleaning system, um, 95,000 double rubs and it's $48 a yard. And here are the colors, some really nice. And this, you're probably noticing that there's a ton of blues here. So um, that's just sort of something that we always have lots of need for, we, we find. So, um, and then some nice blushy um, colors as well as um, ochres and uh, that rust color, which is really popular right now. So um, the main takeaway is that we have a ton of really great stuff on designtextdrop.com. We've launched so many new products. Um, and I hope that those little teasers at the beginning were enough um, to kind of take you to the subsite and check them out for yourself. Um, please reach out to Source um, for samples and we're always happy to help with questions. But that is what I have for you in a nutshell. I'm like, I love it. How I, did. I think it was timing. No, we're right on fast. time. And um, I think everything's great so far. So thank you all for um, joining. If there's any questions, I don't see any quite yet. Feel free to drop them in the chat. But if not, we'll be back again the same time next week for another snack break. But um, it was so beautiful to see that. And you guys always have such beautiful presentations. So yeah, Thanks. look at it. we got yes, right here. You have validation did not go too fast. And Yay. Okay. Yes. It was a lot to cover. I know it felt like I was going, you know, plus because you don't know, get kind of nervous before yeah. a presentation. You're like, no, it was very, it was Hope great. And I it. loved all the visuals are super helpful and um, it was nice. And I, I that's good. good to know. I'm going to sign up for, you know, the get notified about the drops myself. I, I don't think I'm on the list, so I'm going to definitely do that. So please do. Excellent. Well, thank you again awesome. for joining us, everyone, and have a great rest of your afternoon. And Jenna, we'll talk to you soon. Awesome. Thank you Thank all for joining. You. I really Bye. appreciate it. And thanks for having me, Brittany. Bye-bye.